dogs bark. Cows moo, but birds sing. They are the virtuosic vocalists of the animal kingdom, and their songs are a rich source of musical inspiration. The French composer Olivier Messiaen called them Earth's finest musicians. Messiaen wasn't the first composer to be inspired by these avian opera stars, but he was probably the most enthusiastic. In 1940, Messiaen was imprisoned by the Nazis in a German prisoner of war camp, and there, against all the odds, he wrote one of his most famous pieces, Quartet for the End of Time. One January day, hundreds of inmates and guards trudged through thick snow and gathered in a freezing hall. They sat spellbound as Messiaen and his bedraggled band of musicians gave the premier performance of the quartet on borrowed instruments. The music included the call of the nightingale and blackbird, imitated on violin and clarinet. Messiaen believed they represented our longing for light, for stars, for rainbows and for jubilant songs. The quartet was Messiaen's first attempt at incorporating birdsong in his music, and it wouldn't be his last. After his release from Starlag 8A, Messiaen returned to his life as a composer and educator, and he began to fill his music with bird calls from all over the world, even from as far away as New Zealand. After one of his students gave him a set of New Zealand bird recordings, the distinctive sound of birds like the tui, kakapo, and Kokako began to sing out from Messiaen's scores. Messiaen believed birdsong was a direct link to the music of heaven, and he travelled tirelessly to see and hear as many different birds as possible, filling thousands of manuscript pages with painstakingly notated snippets of their songs. Birdsong is difficult to transcribe in music. Some of the more complex calls are hardly recognisable in pieces, Birds aren't bound by the scales of Western music or straightforward metre, and our instruments can only ever approximate their wondrous sounds. But they continue to inspire composers with their colourful voices, their fragile existence, and as symbols of freedom and hope.